Is yeah. chicken your favorite? Lily McKinney has always loved spending time in the kitchen. Whenever anyone is cooking, she's willing to do anything to help. But in an instant, Lily's eagerness to help ended up getting her hurt. My husband was checking on the lasagna that was in the den in the oven, and she snuck right around him and just put her hands right on the oven door. Lily was left with second-degree burns on both hands. She spent the night in the hospital and weeks in bandages. And a new study shows that it's kids Lily's age who are still getting burned at a surprising rate. And we found that the kids under age six were actually injured the most. They represented about 60% of all burn-related injuries. Larry McKenzie is a researcher at Nationwide Children's Hospital. She found that overall burn injuries dropped 31% since 1990 in kids and young adults. That's the good news. The bad news is in children under six, the numbers are still disproportionately high. McKenzie, who is also with Ohio State, says many hazards are eye level for this age group. And in toddlers, their newfound mobility often catches parents off guard. I think we tend to underestimate the reach and ability of children, young children, especially toddlers. Um, they can really reach a lot of surfaces and um, different hazards. Experts suggest you sit on the floor in danger zones in your house, like the kitchen, to see your home from your kids' perspective. Seeing the world from their eyes, they say, can help open your eyes to dangers you may not have noticed. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.